All right, guys. Uh, let's talk about the equation of the circle. Okay. Um, the left hand side you will see it. This is the standard form of the equation of the circle. And the right hand side, this is the general form of the equation of the circle. All right. You look at the upper left corner right here. This is called complete complete square formula. Okay. And the upper right corner right here. This is the standard form of the equation of the circle. S minus h square plus y minus k square equal r square. Okay, so let's see how the, uh, the equation of the circle looks like uh, on the s and y coordinate plane. Okay, so let's draw a circle. Okay, this is a circle. Okay, and then uh, I have s, uh, s and y coordinate. Oh, let's see. Wait. All right, so I have. Alright, so this is S and this is Y and this origin right here. Alright, so if I have uh, the equation of the circle, uh, circle in standard form S minus H square uh, plus Y minus K square equal R square um, H and K right here, this is the, the center of the circle, okay? So this is the coordinate, coordinate of the center. So for example, I have this, this one right here, the center right here. Alright, so this is H and this is k right here so this is the center okay and then the distance from here to here okay the distance from the center to the the point on the circle right here this is called radius okay this is radius all right so what we need to do is to find the 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 the, the center and the radius all right, so let's take a look at the, the left hand side right here, okay? And you look at the equation of the circle right here. Now, the center must be, so I call the center, it's going to be C, okay? The center. All right, H and K, all right? Now, if you look at the negative side, negative 3 right here, okay, you just flip the sign, okay? So negative 3 becomes 3. This is the center. You see, positive 4 is become negative 4. All right, so this is the center of the circle. The radius right here, okay, just check a square root of the number on the right hand side. So this is 16, check square root of 16, okay, square root of 16, this is the radius and it's equal 4. So radius equal 4, okay. So you just have radius right here, equal 4. Alright, now we need to come, uh, we need to um, uh, uh, convert this equation. Okay, the standard form to general form. All right, uh, we use a formula right here. Okay, basically we just use the formula right here, come this square right here. But uh, what if you can't remember uh, the formula right here? Okay, there's another way. There's another way. That's simple. That's it called box method. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see box method. Draw a box right here. Oh, I think that I need to draw a box in on the right hand side right here. All right, uh, let's see a box right here. All right, uh, you see that S minus 3 square? All right, S minus 3 S minus 3 square is the same thing as S minus 3 times S minus 3, okay? And then you just literally put S right here, okay, right here. Negative 3, negative 3 right here, okay. We're done with the first factor. Now the second factor, S minus 3. So you put S right here, uh, minus 3 right here, okay. And then you just multiply this one. So S times S could be S squared. All right, S times negative 3, this could be negative 3S. Negative 3 times S, is could be negative 3S. And negative 3 times negative 3, this will be 9, okay? And you just combine them, okay? Combine them, okay? So I just write the answer right here. S square, S square, minus negative 3S, negative 3S to minus, minus 6S. And then it's a plus 9. 
All right, so I just literally finished the first one. Now I do the same thing for the rest, second one right here. All right, again, I use the second box method right here. All right. And I have uh, y plus 4 square, all right? So y plus 4, y plus 4 square equal y plus 4 times y plus 4, okay? And then you just put y right here, okay? The first factor right here, y and 4, okay? y and 4. The second factor right here, y and 4, okay? Now you just multiply y times y is going to be y square y times 4 4 y 4 times y 4 y and then 4 times 4 is going to be 16 okay and then you just combine like terms okay for the second one y square plus y square plus 8 y and then plus 16 okay plus 16 and then equal 16 right here all right so we finish the second one right here okay now we just rearrange them in general form and we done okay so rearrange them so s square minus sit s right here all right i just leave this one this one this one okay i leave it uh the next next one should be plus y square plus h y okay now i see on both sides okay sitting guys right here and sitting right here gone and I have 9 left, so I put 9 in the last one right here, 9, okay, equal 0, and this is the answer, this is general form of the circle equation, okay guys, it's very simple, okay, or you can use the formula right here, okay, now if you use the formula, and then A right here, so I look at the left, first one right here, I see the negative side right here, right, so I look at this one and I look at the formula. It's actually the second formula right here. Okay. Second formula. Now A with mean S. 3 with mean B. Okay. And then you just follow the guidelines right here. Okay. Just follow instruction right here. You just expand them and you get the same answer. All right. Look at the second one. I see that this is a plus side right here. So I see that the plus side right here. So this is actually the first formula. Okay. Now A which mean y okay b which mean 4 right here and then i just apply the formula right okay and that's it for the first one now let's move on to the second one okay so i'm going to erase this one all right the second 